what are we trying to do? We're trying to make a power series. We're making a power series for this guy. What? We, just moments ago, made a new power series for this guy. And we did it with differentiation. Now, we're going to go like last, last time. And we're going to make a dub sub. What's our dub? Oh, down there in the denominator, it looks like our dub is minus 4x. What's next? I'm going to go and I'm going to stick it in everywhere I saw a dub. That was our dub step. Then we're going to clean it up. Huh. I threw my x's in there. Didn't want to forget about them. Now, make it rain. I'm doing some algebra. I'm separating those guys with my power rule. Now I'm going to deal with that x. Get over here. Because I had the same base and I was multiplying. I added their exponents. So 1 minus 1 was none. And that's that. Now are we done? No. Uh, what do we need? We need to find the radius of convergence. So, we used the ratio test, we had a game plan. It's that ratio test less than one. We go and we plug everything in there. I'm doing my n plus one on all of these guys. Now I'm gonna clean that up. One minus one was none, and I'm gonna write it as such. So then we're looking at that limit. We're reducing those factors in there and it reduced down to n plus 1 over n times minus 1 times 4 times x is smaller than 1. What's next? I'm separate, separating up those factors so I could be a little bit clearer in my limit. So I'm going to take it to the top. And I absolutely took care of those absolute values. I got rid of that minus 4, called it a positive 4. And I got rid of the absolute values on the term with the ends. Why? Because I'm only concerned about my positive ends, and that never ends up being negative. So I just got rid of them. Because we're used to taking our limits on that. We see that that goes to 1, because we divided everything by n, ran the limit, and it went to 1, and then it divided both sides by 4. And that's how we got our radius of convergence. And then it's all over, but the box and flower.